They cancelled flights, then sold tickets for them anyway. It's a shocking admission that's now costing Qantas big time, with affected customers about to pocket hundreds. After copping a whopping fine, the flying kangaroo is trying to rise above the scandals. But these ghost flights are haunting the airline. This was egregious and unacceptable conduct by Qantas. But it's not what you say about yourself, it's how people feel about you and how people feel about Qantas is disappointed. They were the flights which would never take off, but Qantas sold you a ticket anyway. Qantas admits that it misled thousands of its customers by continuing to sell tickets on flights it had already decided to cancel. They accept and admit that that is conduct in breach of the Australian Consumer Law. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission finding 86,000 passengers, including 75-year-old Denise Castillo from WA, were caught up by Qantas behaving badly. It's just disappointing, it's disgusting. And Denise bought two Qantas fun. tickets in 2022, only to discover months later the flight didn't exist. It was a ghost flight. Whether it was cancelled or wasn't even there originally is the question, because like I say, we actually had a confirmation. And today, Qantas has come clean, admitting its misconduct continued for a lot longer than the ACCC was originally investigating, from May 2021 until August 2023, affecting flights scheduled to depart between May 1, 2022 and May 10, 2024. Qantas has agreed to hand over $20 million in compensation to affected passengers. That's $225 each to domestic ticket holders, $450 for international flights, on top of the refund travellers should already have received. The national carrier has also agreed to pay a $100 million fine for misleading its customers, subject to approval from the federal court. Today, Qantas didn't face the cameras, instead a teleconference and an apology. We want to genuinely apologise to customers that were impacted by our failure to provide cancellation notices in a timely manner. Looking to shake the tag of the lying kangaroo. We absolutely have maintained and continue that we did not take fees for no service, that we would not take fees for no service, and that the ACCC is no longer proceeding with this part of its claim. Qantas once was the pride of Australia, with soaring brand recognition and planes full of loyal frequent flyers. But it's been brought back down to earth by a series of scandals, and consumer trust has taken a beating. In 2022, as the airline emerged from the pandemic shutdown, there were staff shortages, flight delays and airport chaos. The blame laid on travellers. I think our customers are not match fit. Last year, there was that Senate hearing where Qantas was forced to walk back plans to cancel more than half a billion dollars in outstanding COVID travel credits. Then the airline convinced the Labor government to keep out rival carrier Qatar Airways. And after receiving billions in taxpayer support during COVID, Qantas turned a huge profit before tax, a record $2.47 billion. The Qantas group is back in profit. As the ACCC went public on the ghost flights investigation, Alan Joyce pulled the ripcord, announcing his early departure as CEO. Advertising expert Dee Madigan says Qantas's reboot needs a reboot. What Qantas should have done was draw a line under Alan Joyce and stop the court cases and things like that to show that they'd actually learnt what they've done wrong. Instead, they just sort of keep digging in. And what it does do is it just um, makes people feel worse about the brand. Today, the ACCC talked up the $100 million fine. We want to give every large company the signal that the ACCC holds you accountable. But last year, it claimed it would go after Qantas for around double the $125 million fine handed to Volkswagen, which holds the record for a breach of Australian consumer law. 
We would want to get um, to more than twice that figure, yes. Today's fine, not even close. Qantas says it will start emailing affected passengers from next month with details on how they can lodge a claim.